Hello everybody! <laughs> Welcome back to my channel. Happy day to you. Today's video is gonna be a very long video, I suspect. And it's another clothing video. Second fashion related video in a row. Who am I? So as mentioned in my last video, Sunday's video, the spring clothing haul, if you haven't seen it, I will link it in the description box down below for your viewing pleasure. I mentioned that I have really been deeply thinking about doing a spring capsule wardrobe thing, but like kind of a challenge because I don't know if I could actually fully commit to 37 pieces. And if you guys don't know Know what a capsule wardrobe is. Apparently it started in the 1970s by one woman named Susie Faux. And the basic idea is simple. By building a capsule wardrobe, you will buy fewer clothes of higher quality that you will wear more often. You will look and feel confident and successful because the quality will show and because you know that the overall look works. And I personally first heard about capsule wardrobes through Anna, the Anna edit. She's been doing a capsule wardrobe for a couple of years now, I think two, maybe three. And I've always loved the idea. If you guys have been following my channel for a long time, if you watch my like kind of recent vlog where I decluttered all my clothes, I get really stressed out when I have a lot of things. And for me, especially when it comes to clothing, I am always stressed for no reason over what to wear. And I feel like I have a lot of clothes. And because I do have a lot of clothes, I always end up wearing the same things over and over again because I kind of am too lazy to pick through <laughs> my clothing. So I've always been toying with the idea of doing a capsule wardrobe, but I do think that it's a little bit extra minimalist than what I am going for. And I feel like I have a lot of beautiful pieces that I do love and wear. So I thought it would be fun to kind of take a seasonal approach to the capsule wardrobe. I think that's especially important because of where I live. We do have such drastic shifts in seasons. I think it would be fun to do a seasonal capsule wardrobe. And obviously Anna does incredible seasonal capsule wardrobes. And I love watching her videos where she sets up a capsule wardrobe per season. So she has a spring capsule wardrobe she just did. She has a winter one a summer one, etc., etc., And then the clothing that she's not using that season, you put away, you tuck it away, pack it up, store it, and you save it for the next time that that season rolls around. And I really like that idea because there's no reason for me to have my parkas and giant thick sweaters sitting out when it's no longer winter. So I kind of wanted to film this video. It's gonna be a little bit vlog style, a little bit casual style, but I thought it would be fun to kind of maybe not commit to the entirety of the 37 piece capsule wardrobe and the whole thing with that is this the actual capsule wardrobe that is like going on now is 37 pieces and that starts from your like tops bottoms outerwear shoes accessories all of that like the true capsule wardrobe is 37 pieces uh, I feel like I'll have more than that but we can we can try I feel like I keep some miscellaneous pieces out but I thought it would be fun because as of now it is the beginning of April and it's actually still super cold I'm still wearing my parka but Dan and I while you guys are actually seeing this we'll be in Vancouver for two weeks it's gonna be really I actually think it's gonna be rainy but it's a lot warmer than it is here and I am hoping I'm putting this out to the universe by filming this video that by the time we get back to Toronto at the end of April, it's gonna be spring. So what I wanted to do for you guys today and what, and kind of like building up my spring clothing haul is build a spring capsule wardrobe and kind of do it as a like a three month challenge, maybe a two month challenge, maybe a one month challenge, but just see how long I can do this for. So Carolyn Joy, she has the blog un-fancy.com. Carolyn Joy, love her Instagram, I'm obsessed with her. And she actually, this is old, she no longer does the capsule wardrobes, but she built this beautiful image here, this document of her spring capsule wardrobe. So um, I wanted to take this image and loosely base my closet off of this right now and see how closely we can get to following this capsule wardrobe and building it. I've also grabbed my suitcase here, which we are going to use to pack up the heavier winter clothing and put it in the storage locker and just keep the things that I'm going to wear for this season in the closet. So it's just less to pick from, it's less clutter. You can more freely see the items that you have and are going to wear for that season. And then by the time winter comes around again and I pull open the suitcase and see all these items, they're all gonna be new. I'm gonna forget what I had and it's gonna be like shopping your closet all over again. So I'm super excited about this prospect. We'll see how long it lasts. <laughs> And I thought it'd be fun. So I'm going to start by, I think, pulling everything out of my closet. I know that's what Anna always says. She always pulls everything out of her wardrobe and she kind of shifts and shuffles as she goes. So I'm gonna start by doing that. I'm going to take some very apparent winter items out of the closet and put them in my suitcase. And then we'll kind of sift through here. This might even be another declutter. You know, another day, another set of fresh eyes taking in the wardrobe. So let's start by doing that. I'm gonna pull everything out of the closet, put things in the suitcase, and we will tackle this after and actually go through like the capsule wardrobe steps, you know, like hmm, eight tops. Woo. So 
So I'm taking my super big chunky knits and all of my turtlenecks out because even if it was like a cooler evening or whatnot, I feel like I wouldn't reach for my big, big warm chunky knits. I'll keep like long sleeves and like light crew neck sweaters in there, but chunky knits going in the winter pile. So this is the initial purge done. I've gotten quite a few chunks out of here. Big chunky knits I've taken out. I'm keeping these two because they were actually new in the spring. These more springy knits. And then I have some crew neck sweaters which I need to go through after. And this is what we're kind of left with. I'm going to transfer the pieces over here and try to build the kind of spring capsule wardrobe following that photo and see how closely we can narrow this down. So this is everything out of my wardrobe. I feel like I put enough in the winter one to hide away because I feel like a lot of the pieces I do own are pretty versatile, like jeans I wear all year round. There's no reason to put some of that. I put some blouses in there that I haven't worn in a long time and I kind of just want to hide away to revisit later. So I feel like the winter suitcase is good. And now what I want to do is separate some of these pieces from here that I want to hide away until summer. So pieces that I won't necessarily use unless I go on like a hot vacation or until it gets really, really hot, 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 but spring in Canada is still mildly cold so i feel like a lot of the more summery bits will be unnecessary and i can save them until summer especially if i'm only gonna try and do this for one month i feel like i won't need any of those super super hot weather items until the summer so i'm gonna go ahead and separate some of the summer pieces i know that i just bought this in the spring clothing haul but i think that i would be more likely to wear this in the summer so i might just save it so this was the chunk I pulled out for summer. That wasn't as successful as I was hoping it was gonna be. But it took away a chunk, it took away a chunk. I'm happy with that. Okay, so I've pulled out a few more blazers and blouses, things that I feel like I could live without this spring season and things that I kind of, again, want to hide from myself until the fall or winter. And Ellie Mae actually makes these really insanely beautiful garment bags out of their old fabric. So what I'm gonna do is actually take all these pieces, like my blazers and blouses and whatnot, and because I already filled up that suitcase, I'm just gonna put them in this garment bag and put them in my storage locker hanging like this. This is really hard to do, hands free. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go over here now. This is another garment bag I have from Ellie Mae. It's so pretty. I'm gonna do the same thing with these summer items and just put them side by side. So it's kind of like the dark garment bag is for winter, the light one's for summer. I just put the hangers in the zipper section instead of this section so that there was more room. And then all of these summer items fit in there as well. So this is what remains on the clothing rack after taking away the suitcase and the two garment bags. Oh my God, my nails, please ignore. <laughs> and this is what remains. We've got skirts and pants here, blouses here, a cardigan. I've got a jumpsuit and also the Zara cargo dress, which I love so much. I feel like this is such a perfect spring piece. I've got the two sets. <laughs> yes, two. This is the set that I featured in my spring clothing haul. Not gonna lie, got it in black. I feel like I'm gonna wear that so much, both spring and summer. Got some dresses here. I actually just realized I feel like this can go in the winter pile. Mm, yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna have to shove that into the thing. This is my Koopal's dress. Kept out these dresses, and then I kept three blazers out of my blazer pile, the lighter ones for spring and summer, my cream and this old one from Zara. And then this is actually one from H&M. I've never worn it, so having it out and as an option, I hope I will wear it this season. This is a jacket I got from Aritzia. I actually just wore this on the panel I spoke on and it was such a great top and I feel like it's perfect. Like wear it with high-waisted jeans and this is such a great going out top. So I'm gonna keep that. And then here's some of my jackets. This is an old one I got in the fall from Zara. I think this will be a really nice item to have this spring. This one, I'm debating actually maybe putting that in the winter pile as well because it actually is a little bit more heavy. It's a wool jacket. From Maritzia. I think I'll 
add that to the winter pile as well. I've got my denim jacket, such a staple. This is so old from Topshop. It's the best. This has seen a lot of the world. It's my favorite. <laughs> and then this is like a kind of silky trench, mm, like cardigan jacket combination. Just got that from Ritzia as well. And then this I featured in my clothing haul. This is the trench coat. So those are kind of my coats, blazers, dresses, things. God, I can't even imagine cutting this in half anymore. I feel like this is still so much and all the sweaters up there and I haven't even tackled my dresser yet. Oh my God. <laughs> so according to Carolyn Joy, the baseline number of items for each category are eight bottoms, five dresses. I'm gonna call that like dresses, jumpsuits, one piece category. Five outerwear pieces that includes cardigans, knit and jackets eight pairs of shoes, and 14 tops. That's the breakdown she's got. I'm gonna start with the eight pairs of bottoms, and that's including denim. That includes skirts. One pair is on my body. Rachel Comey right here. White pants are a must this spring, you know what I'm saying? All right, eight bottoms. Okay, so these are the eight bottoms I've chosen, including the jeans that are on my pants. What? On my legs. <laughs> I've got three pairs of jeans here. These are my ripped Reformation Dawson jeans. I've got a black pair of Levi's. These are my Topshop mom jeans. And these are my like non-ripped light wash jeans. I've got black dress pants, plaid pants, the cargo pants from the spring clothing haul, and my cheetah, what, leopard? I don't know. This printed skirt because I just love it so much and I really want to wear it a lot. So these are the eight bottoms that I have chosen. So now it's time for the five dresses. I'm going to include like two pieces and jumpsuits in that category as well. So these are the five pieces that have made it into the closet. This is a silk laundry dress that was recently sent to me and I really am excited to wear this with like white sneakers and a denim jacket. So that is definitely staying in the wardrobe, these two sets. I feel like these are honestly more summer, so we'll see. We'll see how warm it actually gets. These are to be determined. And then I've got the Zara jumpsuit and the Zara dress as well. This dress right here is something I'm actually wearing to a specific event coming up. So that's going in there as an occasion wear bonus, okay? <laughs> How beautiful is that though? Shop up, I love you so much, thank you. Oh, it's gorgeous. Okay, outer layers. Uh, it says five pieces. We'll see how we do there. <laughs> Listen guys, I've got nine pieces here and that's including sweaters, sweater, blazers, and jackets. And that's just how it's gonna have to stay. I love my outerwear. Oh, but I forgot about the upper sweaters. Oh God, this is hard. So I just went through all my drawers and grabbed all my tops. I have a lot of folded tops and I'm just going to separate them seasonally the same way we did with all of the closet items. Okay, so this is the current pile, this is the summer pile, and that's the winter pile. So I'm going to add both of these to the suitcase along with these. These are the dresses that didn't make it. These are going into the summer pile as well. And this is, did I say it? This is the donate slash depop pile. And what I'm gonna do right now is actually hang all of these up because that's the one thing that prevents me from wearing so many of my tops is having them hidden away and folded in a drawer. So I'm going to hang these all up now, add them to the closet and deal with the rest of these as well. Okay, so according to the manual, <laughs> there's 14 tops. 14 tops. I have, including the one I'm wearing, 23. <laughs> ah, how can we cut this down? All right, guys, I'm not gonna lie. I snuck a couple pieces back in. <laughs> I added these pants back in because I honestly think that the blue and the light gray will be really nice for spring. I also added back in this long gray Zara shirt because it's a nice light material. I think it'll wear really nicely. I can like leave the buttons open and whatnot. And then I honestly just left the sweaters be because they are harming no one up there. And to be honest, I just live in crew neck sweaters, especially when I'm working at home. So I was like, oh, they're just gonna stay. <laughs> but considering there was a full rack here and now it's empty, and everything is in here, including everything from the drawer. 
I'd say this is looking pretty good. I like that everything is now hung up, including my t-shirts. I can just see everything. Oh, and my jeans. Everything is there, and then when I'm planning outfits, I can put them onto the rack. I'm still undecided of what to do with the jeans. I don't know if it's necessary to remove them from here, because I could technically take this pile out and then put the shoes in there. And then I also took these two bins and I put all of the extra like summer stuff, including my bathing suits. I have like little bundles of bathing suits that are in here. So that's the current situation. I feel like we cleared a lot out here. <sighs> I am, I am sweaty. That was hard. <laughs> so the final verdict guys, I'm obviously not the best at this capsule wardrobe life. I clearly went over it only in a couple sections in a lot of sections. But I do feel nice and like light and elated at the fact that only things that I'm about to wear now exist in that closet. And I like the idea of packing away your out of season items to be rediscovered later when that season comes back around. I think that's a really good practice to get into and it kind of just frees up your mind and your space and it allows you to choose from a smaller selection of clothing. So I'm excited about this, guys. Even though I kind of failed. Maybe I'll try again in the summer. Maybe I'll try the full actual, actual 37 item thing. Oh my God, I forgot about accessories. Ugh. See, my whole thing with the capsule wardrobe thing is I get it, I totally get it and I so admire the people who do it. I think that maybe if I wasn't in like a more public place of employment, I wouldn't care so much about having more things. But like, for example, I have those boxes right there and that carries all of my accessories, like hats, scarves, etc. And it's not like affecting me. It's not putting a negative orb over my life by having those sit there. I think if you're really clogged down with items, this is a really good practice to get into. But you know, I gotta keep up with the gram and keep up with clothing and content and stuff. I, I, I feel at peace with my decision to have a little bit more than the original capsule wardrobe challenge. And we cleared up a lot of stuff. I feel good with this. Let me know your guys' thoughts. Are you going to start a capsule wardrobe? Have you been influenced by all of the people who are doing it? Anna, praise be to you. I don't know how you do it, girl. <laughs> I tried. This was my attempt. This was my kind of attempt and semi-fail at a capsule wardrobe challenge. Let me know your guys' thoughts and feelings, everything, your feedback in the comments down below. If anything changes, I'll update you guys during Everyday May, but we're gonna sit with this for now and see what happens. Let me know if you guys even wanna see an update. Let me know your thoughts. This was a kind of vlog style, random me attempting to create a capsule wardrobe. <laughs> I hope that you guys enjoyed. See you guys all in the next video on Friday, I believe. Have a beautiful day. Bye.